Hey guys, I am back with a new video today. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my team setup and why I have chosen this team setup. And it's going to be a lot of focus on Razor. Yeah, you guys really like my last Razor video. So I do focus my team around Razor. So if you do have a Razor, it can be helpful. But if you don't, don't worry. I will still tell you why this team setup is good. Now, first, I want to start with my current team setup. And then we're going to talk about the team setup that I want to have in the future. So let's get right into it. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys have it already. And let's go. So I'm in front of Spiral Abyss here because I want to showcase some of the skills and what best way to do it than Spiral Abyss. Now, if you guys can see from my team, you guys right here. My team currently is of Traveler, the MC, Geo, Razor, who is my main DPS, Barbara, who is my healer, and Xiangling, who is my fire. Now, the way I build my team is around Razor. Now, if you guys know Razor, it requires a lot of time being out on the field. It does a lot of damage, a lot of physical damage. My Razor build is physical damage build, which means that he can basically fight any type of adversary that he, he gets against him. So, we're gonna go right into... Uh, let's do stage 6. Let's go stage 6. I'm gonna go into stage 6 and I will show you. We're gonna choose my team, which is my Geo Traveler Razor. Barbara and Zhang Ling. And we'll just put some out of their, this other level for now. Now, again, the team is built on Razor. Razor needs a lot of time on the field, which means that you want to have the characters that can support him the best way. Now, the best support player that I do have for Razor in this team is Zhang Ling. Zhang Ling is a character that I will take with me into my next team, my finished team with Razor, because she's super useful. So she has two really good skill which is her E which is fire damage over time I can bring out Razor and it will still keep going now the really good thing about this is that when he is gone he drops a chili which gives me a 10% attack boost I think depending on her constellation but that's not her best part her other part is her ultimate right here and this ultimate is insane look at this I'm not even gonna do any damage myself I'm just gonna let this huge AOE follows the Razor around wherever he goes and I can combine him to do overload damage if I need to and she's the best support character that you can actually have so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build Jiang Ling with a full energy recharge build so that it's, I can get her ultimate back as fast as possible but constantly using her E and switching to Razor to do the overload damage is super nice and to combine with his physical damage that he already has is really good so he just slays out pick up pick up the chili while I'm in his ultimate or Q skill and he just slays. And if I do have him, if I do get his constellations up, one more constellation, I can get these orbs around Razor. You guys see the orb? There's two orbs now. Every time I use my, I tap my E, I get these orbs. That will increase my damage that I'm doing on Razor. And combine that with the Zhang Ling. Like I can switch the Zhang Ling, put this up. Razor will come back with the four orbs. And I can pick up the Chili and just do insane amount of damage. So she's perfect to. Uh, combined with my Razor. So if you guys are main Razor, I will highly advise you guys to have Xiang Ling as your support character. She does amazing. She's perfectly, she's like made for Razor. Now, let's talk about Barbara. Now, Barbara is my healer. But that's the, this is kind of bad to show Barbara because it is ice, so she doesn't work that well with ice because you did get frozen. And we kind of want to avoid being frozen. But what is really good with Barbara is she has an E skill that will that will stay with Razor around him. While healing him, he will also apply the water effect or the Hydra effect, which will lead to Razor doing insane damage. So let's see here, right? I'm Razor, he has Hydra effect, and I get the Electric Charge effect, which is really good. So basically, Barbara is the perfect support. Like, she's really good at healing the whole team, everybody else, and she helps my Razor out with combining him with this water effect. Now it doesn't work well unless it's electric because again you get frozen so you don't want to use it. You want to kind of use Yang Ling for this. So she's a good combination with Razor against Ice and every other character almost because of the overload damage and then you have the Barbara which is healing effect. Now my MC. MC is not a really good combination he with Razor at all. I have him right now as a Geo because uh, of Spiral, but if you want to combine him with Razor, the good thing about him is really cheap. You get all the Ascension materials with him, super versatile, and, and if you keep going with him, I think he's going to unlock Electro Set next, and then he's going to be, but you can choose between Wind and Earth. Now, he is good at using Wind, 
combining with Razor, you get the swirl effect. But overall, it's just like a character that I have to just fill a space. I don't really want him. And if you guys would, you guys are using my setup, replace the MC, replace the Traveler, hundred percent. With characters you guys replace with it, uh, with Razor, uh, like let's see what characters I have. Okay, we'll see what characters I have. What character you can potentially replace him with. So good options to replace him with is if he had Avril Venti, it's a good option because of all the wind damage, electric damage they can do, what you can do is you can combine her. So what I like to do, I'll show you guys who is super fun, super useful to have Venti because of her flying. So what flying ability? So what you can do is I remove him real quick and I put Venti out. Now she has this flying ability. So you put this you put this on. And you'll switch to Razor. Switch to Razor, we're gonna fly up, and then he can do a plunge attack with his Claymore, which will do an AoE and can do a lot of damage. You can just keep doing this. If you don't wanna get hit, you don't it's really fun pairing up with Venti, and you can do obviously swirl attacks and so on, uh, combining with Razor. Now, if you don't have a 5-star, most of people don't have a 5-star, don't want to level a 5-star, it's completely fine, okay? If you don't want to combine him with Venti, there's a lot of better options uh, to combine him with. Now, a, a really popular one is combining him with Fischl. Fischl is a great choice. Now, my Fischl is doing Expedition, unfortunately, but Fischl is a great choice. She loses out the, her electric birds and increases the electric damage. And here's the nice thing. If you guys look at this, is if you have double electric in your team, affected by Hydro, 40 plus less time, and uh, Superconduct, Overload, and Electric Charge have a 100% chance to generate an Electro Elemental Particle. Okay, eating those particles is good. Razor, if you have the Constellation, he will increase his damage. And second, he will recharge his ultimate faster, which is really good. He's, it's already really fast, but if you have combining it with Fischl, the Electro damage will be off the roof. Now, you want to focus your Razor being more a physical damage attacker instead of ele Elemental. So, uh... Having official doing that extra electro damage is always nice. Now, if you don't want to choose official, you want to have a different element, then I will highly advise everybody to try go for an uh, or a cryo. Why I will say cryo is because ice gives Razor the superconduct, which leads to him doing insane amount of damage. The defense gets lower on the enemies, and then he can just go out slay just like he wants. So. If you're free to play, obviously go for Kea. He's not that great, unfortunately, but combining him with the Razor being support, be able to cast uh, Ice is amazing. And uh, otherwise, like try to go for a win character, try to go for like a more support style character uh, or uh, that, that doesn't need much time out on the battlefield. Now, that is my current team that I've combined. But what is the ultimate team that I want to have? So my ultimate team that I want to have is I want to keep Razor and Zhangling like I told you guys. Zhangling has the amazing support ability if you build her as a support for Razor. Razor requires a lot of time out on the field. So what is the best way? So what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is replace Ra uh, replace Barbara. Sorry Barbara, I love you. But I want to replace Barbara with Kiki. Kiki, I don't have her but you can see her on the screen right now. She's incredible. She said so Kiki is an ice type melee fighter uses a sword and she's a healer now she has two amazing skills which is her e and her q her e spawns a little bit a little orb uh, that flies around and dealing ice damage which is amazing we love ice damage you guys love ice damage ice damage leads to my boy razor doing incredible superconduct damage superconduct is what we want so i want to have her healing her, her E can do, both heal, if she's out herself, she can heal a party just like Barbara can, or she can heal the target, and he, he, will, de he will heal by how much damage he does uh, while having the E out. Now her ultimate is a huge AoE and leaves targets on the enemies, and those targets, if you hit them, then first of all, they will get super conduct, because combining with Razor and her really super conduct, and second of all, you will be able to heal a lot, heal to full HP just like that so Kiki I would love to have Kiki with Razor and that is my healer that I want but my last one that I want is Mona Mona is incredible after her buff that she got she destroys everybody she does so much damage first of all she's water combine her with Kiki you get a frozen effect if you need that 
Combine her with Razor, you get Electro Charge effect. Combine her uh, with Jangling, you get a Vaporize effect. She's amazing, she does so much damage. So, Genflower, you guys probably watch my videos. Genflower has Mona. Now, Mona is incredible. She can do over 20k damage with her ultimate. 20k! And the crazy thing about Mona is you want to build her with energy recharge. The higher her energy recharges, the more damage she does, and the faster also her ultimate skill cooldowns so she can keep doing the 20k hits like casually when we we're just running around without combining elements she can do like 13 to 14k with mona which is incredible she's a really strong secondary dps so my last ultimate team would be mona combined with razor by with kiki you guys say chi chi probably but i say kiki combined with jiang Wei. i think that is the best team now it does leave like you don't have any range so it doesn't have that big uh, range option but Mona can do some range damage, uh, but not like any range damage. So it is an incredible team. That will be the top tier team that I would combine with Razor. Like Mona can leave her water out. Ichi can leave her ice out. Jangling can leave her fire out. It can be a perfect support for Razor. Razor can just go ham with whatever element that he wants to. So I, that would be my final team. I would obviously with all the support characters that will go for a high energy recharge especially for mona because she does more damage the higher energy recharge she has but that is my final team i hope i get it one day i'm not that lucky unfortunately you know i have the boy razor i'm not that lucky but you know one day hopefully i get mona hopefully i get Ishii and i'll get them up and the razor will have a great time slaying out so that will be my final thing what are your thoughts about this let me know in the comments below tell me you guys' teams oh and it uh, you guys can ask me spit what do you think about my team is it a good team is it a bad team uh what can i do better i will answer all you guys comments i did it in my last video i'll do it again answer me ask me questions join my discord whatever you guys want i will answer you guys about your teams and your team setups and if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys drop a like, drop a subscribe. I'm about to hit level 40, so a lot of juicy content coming out very soon. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.